I can't hear anything. The court will call the case of Ypsilanti Township versus Hesa Davis, case number 23T00364. Assistant Public Defender Chelsea Virgils with on behalf of Hesa Davis. We would stand mute and ask to address bond. And Ms. Davis, can you state your name? Hesa Davis. All right, we're here on three different violations today. I'm going to arrange you on the first one first. The first violation is from March 21st. I'm sorry, March 25th. 2024. It alleges that you tested positive for alcohol on March 24th, 2024 via sober link device in violation of the no alcohol probation condition of your bond, um, of your of your probation. It also alleges in um, number two is from April the 1st. And in that one, it alleges that you tested positive for alcohol via sober link device on March 29th in violation of the no alcohol uh, condition of your probation. Then there is a third violation for April the 15th, 2000, which is today's date. That alleges that you alcohol was detected by Soberlink device on April 6th and April 7th in violation of the no alcohol uh, uh, conditions of your bond. And uh, you also violate it since you have not tested since the morning of April the 11th of 2024. Those are the three violations that you have. You're entitled to have a hearing on these violations at which time if it is shown that you in fact violated the terms of your bond, your bond could be revoked and you could be sentenced to the original maximum penalty in these particular cases. Um, in these uh, particular cases, the original charge in this case carries a maximum penalty of 93 days in the Washtenaw County Jail. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. All right. You may address Bond. Thank you, Your Honor. My client informs me that recent events in her life have been a car accident that she's been healing from. Um, the main effects of that are having trouble getting around and memory loss. Um, so she's been dealing with those serious injuries, which have um, delayed her progress somewhat. She informs me that she has done community service and classes towards her probation, 12 classes at Sacred Heart to be specific. Um, she still lives with her kids. And we would ask you to consider allowing her an opportunity to speak with her attorney, Davi, at length more prior to her probation violation hearing. Um, and we would ask for a personal bond with a scram tether to give her an opportunity to um, continue with what she's been working on. Um, so we would just ask for a personal bond. Thank you. All right. The request for a personal bond is denied in light of the fact that she has three separate violations. And in fact, the reality is I have not actually addressed some of the violations that are in the violation report. Her violations go back to February 14, 2024. And she also has violations where she has not been testing during the time she's supposed to be testing that are over one sheet long. That request is denied. May I speak, Judge? You may. Okay, so the first two with the ETGs, I'm not going to... Okay. That okay. I'm just trying to tell you that some of those violations are false positives. I've talked to community corrections. And Davis, I, I would advise you to talk to your attorney before speaking okay. on this. Okay. I just want to know if there's, please, there any way I can get a personal bond because I have my three kids with someone else that is my friend. I live in Saginaw. I promise you, you would not have no issues out of me. I will come to court. There will be no more <sighs> positive tests. I just... I just really need to get home to my kids. I promise you, I would not be a problem to you if you give me a chance. Yeah, I really did or, that, ma'am. That is or denied. Maybe a small bond that I can get myself I'll out. I'll see you here on um, April the 22nd. Oh, just next week at 9 a.m. Bond is denied. I will consider a release to inpatient treatment. I do physical therapy three times a week. I don't know how I'm supposed to go about this. And I'm on a walker in here. Ms. Davis, we can address that at your next court date. 
I think those are things you should have considered about considered when you were violating the terms of your bond. We'll address that when you get here on the 22nd. 